Hey family, my name is Richard. And I'm Brittany. And we are the founders of lovealwaysministries.com. And we want to say thank you so much for tuning into this channel. And if you guys could, could you make sure to subscribe to this channel so you can stay updated with everything that's going on right here on this channel. And if you'd like to partner with our ministry, you can do so by heading over to lovealwaysministries.com slash donate to make a donation today. Um, or you can give by snail mail. Just look for the website at the bottom of every page on our website. Um, and if you haven't checked out our book, A Call to Purity, what are you waiting for? It is available on Amazon or on our website. Make sure that you pick yourself up a copy today. It is changing lives all over the world. We love you guys. We can't do what we do without you. So thank you for your generosity. Thank you for your prayers. Thank you for your support. And thank you for tuning into our channel. We love you guys so much and we pray God's blessings over you. everyone and thank you so much for tuning into the Let's Talk Purity podcast with Richard and Brittany Delamora. Thanks for joining us each and every week. We're so excited that you guys are here. Uh, today we are going to talk about just the power of forgiveness. Yes, come on. Um, and as always, this podcast is brought to you by Edify.app. Also, uh, we wrote a 40-day devotional called Stop Searching and Start Living. It's 40 days of tools to help you overcome lust, porn and to walk in purity we highly encourage you to pick up a copy for yourself mm. and anyone else that you know that might be struggling with porn or lust or just wants to walk in purity it's available on amazon and for a signed copy lovealwaysministries.com come on all right all right all right i'm so excited today to talk about forgiveness because uh we just wrapped up easter and mm. my husband and i were reading a devotional to our daughter we read the jesus calling it's the children's edition mm. and we're reading her um the the story of easter out of it and one thing that really ministered to you was when jesus went to the cross yeah. and he said forgive them father for they know not what they are doing yeah. um can you share kind of like what ministered to you about that yeah i'm babe i'm always like into the process of things so mm -hmm. when i think about jesus and you know holy weekend resurrection Sunday took place, you know, it was a credible weekend, right? But we noticed that on Friday, he was on the cross. And then he said, you know, forgive them, Father, for they know not what they do. And that really ministered to me right there because without forgiveness, we wouldn't see a resurrection. And I think oftentimes, a lot of us, we want to see a resurrection. We want to see God revive and restore things in our life. But are we willing to forgive? Mm -hmm. And I truly believe that forgiveness and resurrection go hand in hand. And I really think this is an imperative conversation to have because if we are going to see God use us in a mighty way, then we have to be able to be quick to forgive. And I think that's so hard for people because, you know, oftentimes like we think about the words of Jesus, right? He's, he's saying, God, forgive them for they don't even know what they're doing. And I sit and I sat back with you, you know, on the breakfast table asking like, man, can we forgive those who don't even know what they're doing? Or maybe they know what they're doing, but maybe they don't have an understanding of it. And I believe if we're going to be people who are Christ followers, people who are going to have a pure heart, then we have to learn to be able to forgive even when we might be right and they might be wrong. Yeah, and I think that's so good because, um, I mean, you said like maybe they do know what they're doing. I think that people are always aware of their actions, yep. but they're not aware of what it's actually doing to mm. themselves or to others. When I was in the porn industry, um, that was a product of me. Like I thought that I was doing, I didn't realize that I was living a life of sin. Yep. I didn't realize that I was leading people into sin. I didn't realize that I was breaking our heavenly father's heart. Mm. Like you don't understand the repercussions of what you're actually doing, what yep. you're sowing into yep. the world, what you're sowing into your family, yep. what you're sowing into the kingdom. Like so oftentimes, like when Jesus said, forgive them father for they know not what they are doing. Like, 
These are people that just murdered Jesus. Yeah. They didn't just murder a man. Yep. They murdered the Son of God. Son they of murdered God. our yep. Lord and Savior. Like they didn't understand the the magnitude of what they had done. And True. I think that a lot of people, when they uh, do actions in life that are uh, either painful yep. or they're self harming or they uh, harm others or they're judgmental or they're critical. I think mm. they don't understand the magnitude of yep. their sin, mm. and so we got to be the type of people that can forgive and understand that if they truly understood what they were doing, they wouldn't be doing it. Yeah, that's so that's so true. And just to really to add on to that and thinking about. Um, what just took place this weekend or this past weekend on Resurrection Sunday, it's like, you know, God was ministering to me and telling me like, when you hold on to unforgiveness, you're going to resurrect and harbor pain. Yeah. But when you so learn good. to forgive, you're going to see a resurrection of new life. Yeah. And I think we have a choice here today. Are we going to sit and hold on to unforgiveness, anger, bitterness, and allow that to harvest, right? Uh, just more pain in our heart, more impurities in our heart. Or are we going to be able to forgive? Yeah. And I think a sign of maturity is when we're able to forgive people, even when it hurts us. Yeah. You know, Jesus, he he forgave us. He, the Bible even says, like, man, like he loved us even though we were still sinners. Like he died on the cross for us, even though we were still sinners. So I think in our life, like if we're going to really walk in purity and if we're going to be people who are healthy, then we have to be able to be quick to forgive. And I think that when we forgive, it's not about lip service, but it's about heart service. Because how many times do we have it where we say we've forgiven somebody yet the next moment when their name comes up we start you know blotting out all kinds of like negative things about them well this person did this 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 i believe that there needs to be fruit to forgiveness and that might look like the moment that you bring up that person's name it's like oh man i I don't know what's going on with them i believe i pray for the best for them yeah you know um my question for you is is that like i don't know just thinking about this when we forgive somebody does that mean we have to trust them no, of course not. Wait, so yeah, like trust is something that can be so easily broken mm. and it takes time for that to be restored. Yep, yep. Um, that would be unwise to both forgive and trust at the same time. Come on. Uh-huh. Because what you're saying by, by, hey, I forgive you is I'm overlooking your fault. Yep. Um, and I'm not going to harbor the pain in my heart. Mm. So we're both free from that. But... It's going to take time for me to recognize that you're a trustworthy person, yeah, again, yeah, right? So, yeah. And only time can can prove that. Like, you know, so yeah, no, I wouldn't say go in and just trust the person again. Yeah, yeah. I know, th- you know, there's things that say is um, forgive, but don't forget. Yeah. Um, it's good. It's kind of tough, right, to forget what somebody has done. So how do we traffic through that? I'm thinking about someone who might be listening right now. Maybe they got cheated on. Maybe their partner's watching pornography. Maybe, um, I don't know, they, uh, family issues, friend issues. How do they be able to, how do they, how are they able to traffic forgiving somebody yet, you know, them still remembering what they did to them? Yeah, I mean, just like it's you know. it's kind of like time and God heal all wounds, but also recognizing that nobody's perfect. We mm. all fall short. But for something like your partner's watching pornography yeah. or maybe they cheated, um, if it's something that you're choosing to stay with that person and you want to continue to work on your marriage, it's a two-way street. Yep. So both people have to be actively working Got towards it. it, you know? Got it. Yeah, so yeah, I think that like... Because like if I look back at all the people that have ever hurt me, I can clearly remember mm. what they did. I just saw like a, there's a psychologist that I follow on Instagram and they were talking about um, like you always remember the way that people made you feel. Yeah. And that is so true. Like if you made somebody feel good today, they're going to remember mm. that. If you made someone feel awful today, they're going to remember that. Yeah. You know, they don't really, most times people don't remember the in-betweens, yeah. right? They remember the feelings yeah. because that's what penetrates their heart. Yeah. Now you can overlook it and no longer feel that pain, but you can still remember. Yeah. You know what I mean? And so it's like by forgiving, you're saying I'm no longer going to feel that pain. It doesn't mm. mean that I don't remember. Just because I remember it though doesn't mean I'm going to hold you hostage. Yeah. I'm not going to bring it up again. I'm going to let it go. But if I really want to go there in my mind, I can choose to remember yeah. what you've done to yeah, me or ha- did to me. 
but I'm going to choose to no, no longer feel that and I'm yeah. going to choose to not bring it up in my mind. And when you're working on forgiveness, um, you also have to get to this place where you can learn to cast down the thoughts mm. when the enemy tries to remind you, but he watched porn five weeks ago or, or you know, but she cheated on you or but they yeah. lied to you or but that person gossiped about you yeah. or but they did you dirty like whatever that may be if you are working on forgiveness because you want to be free which mm. i believe if you're listening to the let's talk Free yep. podcast here today that you want to be free mm. and so you have to go yeah maybe that's what they did but i'm gonna choose to not focus on that i cast that thought down in the come name on, of jesus yeah. like you can take power and a, you have the power to take authority over your thought life because if you continue mm. to uh to allow your thoughts to determine how you feel about a person then you're never gonna find healing it's you true. have to choose to let the past be in the past and you don't have to run back into the relationship stupidly like this is with your friendship with your spouse with you know maybe it's family, whatever it may be. Don't run back into it ignorantly. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you need to know like, okay, that person has a track record of, you know, being this way. Mm. So I may not go deep in my relationship with this person, but I'm going to do what the Bible says. Mm. It says to work, to be at peace with everyone. Everyone. Yeah. Everyone. That means your crazy cousin. That means your gossiping aunt. That yeah. means everybody <laughs> in your family Absolutely. You sh- and your friendships. Like Work to be at peace with the coworker that's a little wild. Like, work to be at peace with them. That doesn't mean that, like, you have to share all your secrets with them. But it means you have very low expectations Mm. of them. You go into the friendship knowing you're not going to get much out of it. And you probably don't even have to give much to it. But you could still be cool. Hey, how are you doing? Oh, it's really good to see you, you Mm. know? And you can still genuinely show interest and love the person without allowing... Because the Bible teaches us to guard our heart. So without allowing your heart to be broken and that's kind of like you'll have friendships that you go deep with and then you'll have some that maybe are just a little more surface and that's okay it's using wisdom yeah that's so good even just listening to you i know a lot of people too they're like well they don't deserve my forgiveness but the reality is you deserve peace so if you hold on to unforgiveness then you're never going to see that peace that you want and i think sometimes people hold on to forgiveness because they use that as a way of like I don't know, like revenge, right? Like, I'm not gonna forgive you, so you feel this type of way. But it's yeah, so f- but then you feel so like nasty in your heart and yeah. your spirit. I- <laughs> it's, no, and it, it's true. It's true, and it's yeah. so funny. Like the person that you're mad at is probably like loving and enjoying life, but yeah. here you are harboring pain, and yeah. that's why we just encourage you today to like li- literally let it go and just mm-hmm. be able to move forward. And yeah. I was thinking about as you were talking, babe, and we're talking about this subject. You know, the power of forgiveness. Um, how about those that have a hard time forgiving themselves? You know, I know a lot of people when they made a mistake and they fall short, they just keep uh, reiterating those thoughts. Or, I'm a bad person. How can anybody forgive me for what I've done? Or, you know, I can't believe I did that to my to my wife. And oftentimes, you know, forgiveness too could lead to condemnation, right? And, and here's what I mean by that. Unforgiveness could lead to condemnation <laughs> because I know a lot of people um, who cannot forgive themselves and then the spirit of condemnation just really just starts like tackling them and then you start like thinking about your life and you're like man i'm not i don't know i just don't feel worthy enough and we just want to encourage you today that if you are battling with unforgiveness just know that god loves you and Mm -hmm. god's for you and the moment that you forgive he doesn't even remember but you might be saying well rich i still remember i know but also remember how much that God loves you and how much he's for you. Just know that like, you know, the scripture teaches us to forget, forget those things that are behind us, right? And really just press on to the things that are in front of us. And I would just want to remind you to, for yourself to remind yourself every day of like God's goodness, God's promises over our life. Because I think sometimes we're so hard on ourselves. And I think these are areas in our life that we need to be freed from yeah. so we can operate in peace, so we can operate in joy and so that we can do what God has calling us to do because unforgiveness really it puts a halt on everything. Yeah. You know what I mean? And I think that's what the enemy wants to do. Yeah. He wants us to harbor and hold on to that bitterness so we never walk in the freedom that we need. Yeah. And understand this, my Christian friends, we are in the ministry of reconciliation. Okay, We are in the ministry of restoration. So if you're a Christian and you're asking yourself, man, 
uh, I want to get involved in a ministry. Well, guess up. Guess what? You're automatically signed to the Ministry of Reconciliation. So what does that look like? Well, you're called to reconcile. Okay. If there's somebody that you're at odds with, you might have to get up. Not, not actually, not you might. You need to pick up the phone and talk to that person. Yeah. But you might be saying, well, I don't know if it's the proper time. I understand that. I do believe that there is a proper time for everything. But if the Holy Spirit is like right nudging on you and you feel it. Have you ever had a babe where like the Holy Spirit will like have like their name pop up in places and you're like, oh, like that has happened to me before where I'll hear a random name or, or, or I'll jump on the computer and I'll see something. And it's almost like God is telling me, talk to that person. Mm-hmm. Go talk to that person. We want to tell you here today, talk to that person minister to them uh forgive them and i'm telling you friends when you go and you help people that's where this is where god starts to to refresh you and and i really believe that this is the peace that a lot of us are longing for but it really takes time for you to really invade your heart and to ask god god like help me in these areas where i need help yeah that's so good um all right guys well thank you so much for tuning in to the let's talk purity podcast we're so excited that you guys are here with us again we love you so much and we will see you not next week but the week after also don't forget to pick up a copy of stop searching and start living yes, yes, uh yes. we do have um a devotional in here about forgiveness we do. and just also like not blaming others and owning up for your mistakes it's a really 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 good read it made me cry when i was reading through it um and when i was editing it because i really felt god's spirit all over it so i'm excited for you to get that in your hands amazon or lovealwaysministries.com have a super blessed week we love you guys